Hi, my name is Kiran Baburaj and today we are diving into binary search tree traversals. In this video, we will cover three main types of tree traversals, pre-order, in-order and post-order. We will also visualize how each traversal works and compare their outputs. We know the structure of BSD. Each node has at most two children and left child less than parent less than right child and it enables efficient searching operation. Now we will explore how in-order traversal works in BSD. First we have to visit the left subtree, then process the root node and finally the right subtree. Now let's visualize the traversal process. We start at the root 50 and move to the left child 30 and then to its left child again reaching the node 20. Since 20 has no children, we process it first. The traversal so far is 20. Next we backtrack to node 30. Since we have already visited its left subtree, we process the node 30. Now we move to the right child of 30 which is 40. And since 40 has no children, we process it next. Next we backtrack to the root 50. Since we have visited the left subtree, we process to node 50. Next we move to the right subtree of 50, starting with the node 70. Since the node 70 has a left child 60, we process the 60. Then we backtrack to the node 70. Since we have visited its left subtree, we process the node 70. Finally, we move to the right child of 70, which is 80. Since 80 has no children, we process it last. The final traversal order is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Notice that the nodes are visited in ascending order. Now let's look at the code for in order traversal. The method is recursive and follows left, root, right order. The method starts by checking if the current node has a left child. If a left child exists, we recursively call the in order traversal on the left subtree. This ensures we visit all nodes in the left subtree before processing the current node. After visiting the left subtree, we process the current node by printing its value. Finally, we check if the current node has a right child. And if a right child exists, we recursively call the in order traversal on the right subtree. So the in order traversal follows left, root and right order. It visits nodes in the ascending order, making it perfect for sorting. It has the time complexity of order of n, where n is the number of nodes, and the space complexity is order of h, where h is the height of the tree. Next is pre-order traversal. It follows a simple rule, that is root, then left node, then right node. We visit the root node first, then explore the left subtree and finally move to the right subtree. Now let's visualize the pre-order traversal. Start at the root 50, we visit it first, then we move to the left subtree 30, visit the left child 20, since it has no children, we backtrack, then we move to the right child 40, backtrack to the root and move to the right subtree 70, then we visit the 60, then the right child 80. Now let's look at the code for pre-order traversal. This method is recursive and follows root, left, right order. Method starts by processing the current node first. We print the value of the node by visiting its children. Next we check if the node has left child. If so, recursively call the pre-order traversal for the left subtree. This ensures we explore the entire left subtree before moving to the right. Finally, we check if the node has right child. If a right child exists, we recursively call the pre-order traversal for the right subtree. The pre-order traversal is useful for copying the trees or solving tree-based problems that require visiting the root early. And it has the time complexity of order of n, where n is the number of nodes and space complexity of order of h. Next we will explore how the post order traversal works in binary search tree. This follows the traversal process, first visiting the left subtree, then the right subtree and finally the root node. Let's visualize the post order traversal. We start with the left subtree 30, move to its left child 20. Since it has no children, we print it, then backtrack to 30 and visit its right child 40. Now that both left and right children of 30 are visited. Next we print 30 itself, 
then we move to the right subtree that is 70 then we sit its left child 60 then its right child 80 since both subtrees are processed then we print 70 and finally we print the root node that is 50 now let's look at the code for post order traversal this method is recursive and follows left right root order the method starts by checking if the current node has left child if a left child exists we recursively call the post order traversal on the left subtree this ensures we visit all the nodes in the left subtree before processing the other parts of the tree. Next, we check if the current node has the right child. If a right child exists, we recursively call the post order traversal on the right subtree. Finally, after visiting both left and right subtrees, we process the current node by printing its value. The post order traversal is commonly used in tree deletion and expression of tree valuation. It has the same order of complexity of order of n and space complexity of order of h. So let's recap what we have learned today. The choice of traversal depends on the application, whether you need the sorted output, tree copying or tree deletion. Each traversal visits every node exactly once. The time complexity is order of n for all traversals and space complexity is order of h for recursive implementation, where h is the height of the tree. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on DSA. Happy coding. Thank you.